after delaying the vote earlier this week, Chicago City Council approving two measures that will have a significant impact on city finances. And WGN's Alyssa Donovan is live at City Hall tonight with more. Alyssa. Yeah, Ray and Micah, after three hours of tense discussion and heated debates, City Council approved two of Mayor Johnson's top priorities, $70 million to help with caring for migrants in the city of Chicago and a $1.25 billion borrowing plan to help fund housing projects and economic development. The only difference from where I stand now and where I stood in November and May of last year was that I was a no then. Today I'm a hell no. Several older people voicing frustration today at a special city council meeting at City Hall. A $70 million allocation to help care for new migrants and a $1.25 billion bond to fund housing and economic development. It was a mixed bag of older people for and against funding the care of migrants in the city. We have to take care of our problems first. We have 3,200 children, 3,200 children in our shelter system. Where will they go when we can no longer operate our shelters? But overall, the measure passed 30 to 18, approving Mayor Brandon Johnson's plan to take $70 million in surplus money to help pay for food and operational costs of migrant shelters. The $70 million is the responsible thing to do. There were several failed motions to put more aldermanic oversight on the second agenda item, a $1.25 billion bond deal. The Johnson proposed plan did pass and will provide funding for housing and economic development in the city. To say yes to economic development across the city of Chicago, acknowledging that it is the very backbone of our city. And we're going to go, we're going to vote yes for housing as a right, a bond issuance that understands that we have to house people who are currently living in tents. And City Council was also expected to discuss a measure regarding the shot spotter technology the city has, which is that gun detection technology used by CPD. But that will now be considered at a future council meeting. We're live tonight at City Hall, Alyssa Donovan, WGN News.